in him. We have a new identity. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. But he who was joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. A very powerful revelation in this one sentence or one verse of scripture. The Apostle Paul is saying, whoever is joined to the Lord, whoever becomes one with the Lord, and that's who we are, that's what has become to us. We are in Him, we are joined to the Lord. Or as the scripture says, that God has brought us into union with Christ. So we have been joined to the Lord. He who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him, or has spiritually become one with Him. Now, if you want to look at it like this, if you uh, just have, a, just for illustration's sake, if you have uh, two glasses filled with water and uh, you pour one glass into the other, you can no longer get back the, uh, the molecules of water that belonged to this glass. Why? Because it's been poured into the other glass and they have become one. It's, it's, it's all together now. You can't separate them. They, they, they are one now. And so Paul is saying, he who is joined to the Lord has become one spirit with him. That is, my spirit has been joined, is immersed, is connected with Jesus Christ. That's the same thing that's happened to you. You have become one spirit with him. Or Jesus illustrated it for us in one in another way. He said, He is the wine, we are a branch on the wine. We're connected to Jesus. What's in him flows through us. The wine life flows through us. Now, this is spiritual reality. It is spiritual truth. You've been joined to him. You become one with him. Think about the implication of this. It means that in the realm of the spirit, in the spiritual realm, our entire identity has shifted. We've gone from darkness to light. We've gone from being sons of darkness to now becoming joined together with Jesus. Our identity now flows out of Him. Our identity is in Him. And like I like to say often, who we are in Christ is who we really are. That's our identity. Our identity you know, is no longer based on our old life or our life on the earth or who we are in the natural. None of that. Our identity is based on our union with Jesus Christ. Our identity derives from Him. We bear His name. We carry His life. Everything about Him now is upon us. That's our identity. When the enemy sees you, he sees you as somebody who is joined to the Lord, spiritually one with Jesus Christ. Think about it. That's who you are. Uh, you're walking in the identity of Jesus Christ. You have put on Jesus Christ. You're covered with Jesus. And that's what the enemy sees when he sees you. You know, we've got to live out of that identity. We've got to tell ourselves who I am in Christ is who I really am. That's my spiritual identity and live out of that. If you want to think of an illustration, imagine a poor child being adopted into a royal family. You know, the moment that child is adopted in that family, everything about that child changes. The identity of the child is royalty, no longer a, a poor child. It's royalty. That child lives out of that identity. That's exactly what's happened to you and me and much more. We are royalty. We are identified in Jesus. Let's live out of that. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to understand what it means to be spiritually one with you. Because your word says, he who is joined to the Lord has become spiritually one with him. Help us to live out of that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.